Welcome to JD and the Sump C. I'm D here. Um, yeah, so I figured it was time to finish up this project I started a couple of months ago for my buddy Eric. Um, this is all his 30K uh, Zone Mortalis terrain. You know, um, well, you'll see as the video goes on. I started this in black and white. Um, one, I've never done anything like this before. And two, um, yeah, that's <laughs> a little bit of problems. Um, so Eric, uh, you know, these are uh, MDF uh, Zone Mortalis things. Uh, I kit bashed them all in the other video. Uh, you'll have to check back. It's in our 30K playlist. Um, but yeah, he added a few other pieces to it as we went on. Um, you know, uh, I'll let you guys get going in the video. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff went wrong in this one, guys. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, we're almost ready to start here. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so anyways, um, I figured I'd uh, start with some craft paint. Uh, that always does, acrylic craft paint's usually pretty good to go over um, MDF board with. Um, you know, I was gonna try to do the sponge and then of course I got in the middle of this, I got the camera and everything all set up and I started sponging and I realized I can't get the brush inside of there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, you know, that happened. Um, yeah, well, you know, we just keep rolling at it. This isn't boating very well, is it? But, you know, whatever. We're just going to keep pushing through. You know, you have a plan, you try to you know, work to the plan, and the plan was crap from the beginning. So, um, yeah, tomorrow, gonna get some spray paint, we're just gonna spray all this crap. Um, yeah. Um, you know, it happens, it happens with big projects. Um, once again, <laughs> this is usually one of the areas we can go, ah! poop on it. I don't want to do it anymore. Um, yeah, not going to do that. Need to get this done. I'm um, going to get some different gray primers and some black primers and we're going to spray the heck out of it. I am not going to video that part for you though. Okay, back to the video. So anyways, here I am showing you the uh, the inks that I use from Liquitex. Um, and I also usually thin them down with airbrush medium from uh, Army Painter. Um, yeah, right from the get, this just didn't go very well. Um, I know that shots look a little different. That's because on these, I'm not using a webcam. I just got a DSLR camera. And I've been spending the last few days screwing around trying to get it up and, you know, very exciting. Um, yeah, you know, from this distance, it doesn't, well, you can see it a little bit. You can see a little bit of the beating that's going on. Um, <laughs> of course, it's happening on camera, you know, that would make sense. So... Yeah, not entirely sure why it's beating. So, of course, you know, as soon as I get done with that, I check my mix and here I go on some of the uh, 
uh, laser print stuff that he got. He ordered this in. Um, I like always using that, you know, I use the raw, or I'm sorry, the burnt sienna uh, to start with the gold placements. Um, you know, it seems, seems to be going on just fine on these things. Um, yeah, so, you know, I didn't think very much of it. Um, thought, well, maybe I didn't mix it correctly. I mean, it happens. Yeah, it's even going on the sides here real nice. Not not beading, not anything. Real nice. So then I switched over to burnt sienna to add a little uh, areas where I wanted coppery. And yeah, now suddenly the gun's not shooting straight. Um, <laughs> not really... Starting to get just a little frustrated. Also, if you take a look, um, the gold that I put on that uh, on that thing didn't really didn't really work very well. Um, yeah, then I started noticing that beating on this stuff. Um, you know, I'm spraying the plastic, getting a lot of overspray. The gun's not firing where I want it to be. So I figured, well, you know what? I can I can patch this up with oils. Um, yeah, the overspray started beating. Um, not very... <laughs> getting very frustrated at this point. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so then we go into the, the raw umber itself. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is not very good at all. Um, I am extremely disappointed... I think I know what's going on at this point. It was a problem I had with this badger before. Um, yeah, now we're spurting everywhere. So this is the second badger gun that I've purchased in that many years. Um, Seem to continuously have the same issue. Um, got good needles. I'm pretty sure my mix is right, although I am going to adjust that uh, utilizing another uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, NJM Marco Frizzoni. Um, he always mixes up his stuff before he puts it in the air gun, which, yeah, I'm rushing. <laughs> If you guys haven't figured it out by the amount of crap that we put out on this channel, um, yeah, I I do kind of rush. My patience level is not very good. Um, so um, I am going to purchase some uh, mixing stuff. Uh, I he's got a good link in his channel for these metal ones. Um, I'm going to try it. Uh, and I'm also going to finally put my badgers to rest. Um, I'm pretty sure it's me. Uh, when I switch over to an Iowata, um, I'm going to spend way too much money on it because I'm really frustrated right now. Um, I do not recommend this for everybody either. Um, you know, it's most of the time... When you're having a bad day, maybe just set it to the side. Uh, don't do what my stupid ass has done today, um, which has spent way too much money. <laughs> um, one of the reasons that I switched the way this video is going to go is because I have completely and overdone it simply because of the rushing around. Um, yeah, I missed a very critical step with this whole project <laughs> for the painting process. Um, basically, I should have sealed. Oh my God, I should have sealed the MDF. But, you know, you're trying to make it work. You're kind of make it work. You're rushing and yeah, screwed up. Um, I'll have the rest of the painting footage here for you. And uh, then <laughs> we'll have to close the video but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, it just gets worse from here. So I hope you enjoy that part until I get back to you. So 
started with Dawnstone Air, figuring I'd go back to paint. Um, yeah, beating really, really bad. Um, it has something to do with how much, many times I've used this and how many cl I've, times I've cleaned it. Um, yeah, I don't know. This just went from bad to worse really, really fast. So anyways, um, yeah, project not working, not working at all. Um, yeah, today probably one of the best days because I got the new camera set up. Um, probably one of the worst days because I'm rushing this 30K project and I missed probably the most important step. Um, should have sealed the MDF. Should have kept going with the acrylic paint. Um, I'm guessing at this point that when I put the aerosol layers on, um, they pretty much just soaked in. Um, the beading I'm getting, I have just stuck <laughs> with this. Um, gonna have to be at least two videos on this um I, I don't know why i'm fighting with this so damn much but um i am gonna get this done for you eric um yeah i'm woo, a little hot there even went spent too much money in order to do airbrush which i don't actually think i need um yeah so full breakdown it's been a heck of a summer this year. <laughs> Thank you all of you guys for, you know, sticking with us. Jay and I have accomplished everything we wanted to do this summer. Um, the fall's here. It's coming. I am blathering like an idiot because, you know, I don't script anything. Um, but I just wanted to thank all of you guys. And if any of you stuck around to the end of this first video um, that I'm about to make because I've had such a bad day hobbying, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there will be another one. Uh, it's coming because I'm going to finish this and I'm going to show you guys what happens when, you know, things don't quite go to plan. Um, I hope you enjoy the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoy the channel. As always, please like and subscribe. <laughs>